Hey guys, what's up? I just spontaneously thought about recording a video about why do I meditate or why do I think meditation is just freaking awesome and everyone out there should meditate in my opinion, yes? So there are a few different reasons and I just start with the biggest reason why do I meditate. So if, of course it reduces a lot of stress it helps you just be more aware, it just helps you to be more conscious about what is around you, what happens around you uh, and be more conscious about your breathing and stuff like that. That's, that's pretty awesome because you don't, I, I nearly never have the feeling anymore, oh the last year or the last weekend went by so quickly because I'm so conscious about, yeah, time is running right now. I'm here right now. I'm alive right now. So that helps me a lot um, thanks to meditation. And now the, in my opinion, the biggest thing is you learn how to treat your emotions and your thoughts completely differently. I would call it emotional intelligence. And that's a huge thing because so many thousands and millions of people out there have problems with their emotions, they are depression, they have problems with depression and stuff like that. But it's <laughs> in my how I see it today, it's just pretty easy most of the time. Yeah, when I'm aware of my emotions and I'm aware of the illusion that I'm in right now, how does meditation help me with emotional intelligence or with feeling better all through the day? Yes, because the way I meditate is just to observe everything. I don't try to change anything, even if my back hurts or if I have the thought I want to scratch my, scratch my face because it's a bit itchy or something like that, or if I have thousands of thoughts in my head, I don't try to resist anything. Even if I feel freaking sad, my stomach hurts or whatever, I don't try to change anything. Because in that particular moment, everything is just okay. Just okay. Just try to fully accept it and focus back on my breathing. Focus maybe on sounds. Focus maybe on different emotions, on my thoughts. I can observe how my thoughts pop up in my head and maybe they just fade away and this is pretty awesome because so often I just felt such an inner strength. It's amazing because you just realize in your own body that your emotion and your thoughts aren't yourself. The Ask yourself who is the I? Who am I? Who is the one who observes those changes? When I feel bad right now and 10 minutes later I feel good, who is the one who observes those changes? The one who never is actually, who never takes on the form of those emotions or the form of those thoughts. Who is the one who just observes it? So you feel you realize on a really deep level that you have so much power and so those emotions, those thoughts don't have any power about you, about your life and you are the creator. That makes meditation so powerful and it helps you tremendously to manage your daily life, your business, whatever, or relationships. Because now I can do whatever I want, I can try out whatever I want. And the worst case, what can happen? Oh, I feel freaking depressive, I feel freaking bad or whatever. Because maybe someone just hated on me, I don't know. But I exactly know what, what to do then. I just meditate or I just try to observe those feelings and those thoughts and just accept it, just fully love it, fully love it, 
just be be with it don't try to change it don't try to resist it and that's what teaches me meditation so yeah i just can definitely recommend to you to just if you never meditate before just start small just 10 minutes every day or five even just five minutes during your work break or in the morning whatever but just it's important that, that you do it consistently and yeah, not just for one hour one time per week better do it 10 minutes every day i i meditate since i guess three or four years and even today i normally just do 20 minutes or maybe half an hour not any longer you can do two hours or whatever but i don't just don't have time and i i'm too lazy for that and i know if i try to do two hours every day i'm pretty sure that i don't do it every day and i will start to skip some days and so on so yeah just start small and do it consistently and your life will change in the good so stay sexy stay positive and we see us in the next video <laughs>